I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com and this is What's New Now. New iPads are hitting store shelves and that event is rather inconveniently dovetailing with a recent earnings call from Apple in which the company said iPad sales were lower than expected last quarter. Apple makes plenty of money elsewhere, lately from its Mac line, but the numbers left investors none too pleased. But maybe they just have unreasonable expectations. The fact is, the tablet market is still extremely young. No one really understands yet what consumer behavior around tablet purchases is or will be. Smartphones, on the other hand, are much more predictable. The life cycle of a phone is now said to be somewhere around two years. People carry their phones with them everywhere and tend to beat them up. People have an appetite to upgrade when a new model and new operating system offer noticeable improvements in design, power, and speed. But with tablets, it's hard to say what the life cycle is or what whets the appetite to upgrade. The iPad, which is the overwhelming leader and in many ways the firstborn child of this category, has only been around since 2010, so the market itself isn't even five years old yet. And that means all the other devices that followed the iPad on other operating systems are even younger than that. People don't take their tablets with them everywhere and bang them up as much as they do their phones, so maybe tablets physically last longer. And how, where, and why people use tablets isn't so clear-cut either. Some people have that lean-back approach to using tablets for reading, shopping, and web surfing, and other people use them as media players for their kids. Some people use them for business, and that's true for laptops too. People use laptops in all kinds of different ways, but there was a progression in the market for laptops to arrive at that point, and today the market is filled with all kinds of laptops that are specialized, so you can buy one that's actually designed to do whatever it is you plan to do with it. Now with tablets, not so much. Back in July, Apple acknowledged another weak quarter for the iPad, although CEO Tim Cook at the time had a cheery outlook due to a newly announced partnership with IBM, which was then, and is still now, expected to boost those numbers once big businesses start buying tablets in bulk. I think before we can have any great expectations for tablets in general, we have to give them a little more time to penetrate these different market segments and maybe even see some variations in the devices that speak to different kinds of users rather than just being thinner or being available in gold. I think consumers and investors need to give the category a lot more time to mature, especially in the business space. And I think churning out a new model every few months that doesn't specifically cater to one kind of user or another might not be helping. For more, check out PCMag.com. I'm Jill Duffy, and that's what's new now.